Okay. First, let's use the first property. So you can pull out the constant 2. Okay. Now, doesn't that, what I'm doing right now, doesn't it look very similar to the property of integrals? Yeah, so it's actually backwards. Integrals have those properties because sigma has these properties. Yeah. So this is right the formula for this is n m plus 1 over 2, right? Which simplifies n m plus 1. Where n is 100. So it's 100 times by 101. So it's 101 two zeros. Next one. First you use the properties instead of the formulas. So if you use the properties you get this. Sigma 2 times sigma i squared minus sigma i. So you gotta make it look like so that it's completely isolated so you can use the formula. That's 2 n m plus 1 2n plus 1 divided by 6 that's what that is minus n m plus 1 over 2 where n is 50 Okay, you gotta plug in 50 in here. <coughs> so let's multiply the 2 in first, and you get 3, and this one is just 50, 51. 50, 51, and that's 101. I guess you can factor it. You get 1 over 3, 50, 51, and we get 101 minus 3. Let's do some reducing. So yeah, it's 50 times by 17 times by 98. So that's what you get if you punch in the calculator. 